Jacob Zuma, a significant figure in South African politics, served as the country's fourth president from 2009 to 2018. His leadership was marked by controversy, including allegations of corruption and a turbulent relationship with the judiciary, culminating in his imprisonment in 2021. As a former anti-apartheid activist and a key member of the African National Congress, Zuma's journey illustrates the complexities of post-apartheid governance in South Africa. Throughout his political career, Zuma faced numerous challenges that shaped public perception. From his rise to power as the president of the African National Congress in 2007 to his eventual downfall, his story reflects the broader struggles within the party and the nation. At the heart of his presidency were pivotal events that sparked protests and political instability, ultimately leading to his legal troubles. Understanding Zuma's impact on South Africa involves examining both his achievements and failures. His legacy continues to provoke debate making it essential to explore the intricacies of his term as president and the lasting effects on the country today. Early Life and Education Jacob Zuma was born on April 12, 1942, in Nakandla, which is located in the KwaZulu Natal Province of South Africa. He was the youngest of ten children in his family. His father, Nob Hekasiza, worked as a policeman but passed away when Jacob was just five years old. His mother, Gaina Mazwi, struggled to provide for the family as a domestic worker. Zuma's early life was marked by frequent relocations around Natal and Durban. This instability influenced his childhood experience and education. Due to economic hardships, Zuma had limited formal schooling. He attended local schools but left at a young age to assist his family. In the 1960s, he became involved in politics through his membership in the African National Congress, ANC. His political activism led him to further educate himself outside traditional settings. Throughout his life, Zuma emphasized the importance of education, advocating for better educational opportunities for South Africa's youth. This commitment to learning remained a central theme in his political career. Political Career Jacob Zuma's political career is marked by his ascent through the African National Congress, ANC, his tenure as Deputy President, and his presidency from 2009 to 2018. His post-presidency period has also seen significant developments that reshape his political influence. Rise through the ANC Jacob Zuma joined the ANC in 1959 and quickly became involved in anti-apartheid activities. He was a member of the ANC's armed wing, Yumkantoi Seizwe, which fought against the apartheid regime. His activism led to imprisonment for 10 years, after which he continued to climb the ranks within the ANC. In the 1990s, Zuma held various positions, including the role of ANC National Executive Committee member. By 2005, he became the deputy president of the ANC signaling his growing influence within the party. His leadership style and popularity within the ANC solidified his position as a key player in South African politics. Deputy President of South Africa Zuma's appointment as Deputy President of South Africa in 2009 marked a significant milestone in his political career. Serving under President Thabo Mbeki, he managed various portfolios, including the pivotal task of overseeing South Africa's response to HIV-AIDS. His approach emphasized healthcare reform and improving access to treatment. However, Zuma's tenure was not without controversy. Allegations of corruption and infighting within the ANC began to surface during this period, tainting his public image. Despite these challenges, his ability to connect with ordinary South Africans helped maintain his popularity within the party and laid the groundwork for his subsequent presidential campaign. Presidency Zuma became president of South Africa in May 2009 after defeating Becky in the ANC leadership election. His presidency focused on economic development and addressing social inequalities. He implemented several policies aimed at enhancing infrastructure and promoting job creation. Nevertheless, his administration faced numerous corruption scandals, notably the allegations surrounding the use of state funds for personal renovations at his private residence in Nakandla. These scandals culminated in a series of public protests and calls for his resignation. Despite this, he remained in power until 2018 showcasing both resilience and contention. Post-presidency influence After stepping down in 2018, Zuma's political influence did not wane. 
he became increasingly critical of the ANC and its leaders. In December 2023, he announced the formation of a new political party, Yumkantawi Sizwe, aiming to provide an alternative to the ANC. Zuma's new political venture signals his intent to regain influence and reshape South Africa's political landscape. His conflicting relationship with former allies and persistent popularity among certain factions within the populace could impact future elections significantly. Presidency Tenure Jacob Zuma's presidency, marked by a mix of accomplishments and controversies, spanned from 2009 to 2018. His leadership focused on domestic policies that aimed to address social issues, foreign relations that navigated complex international dynamics, economic strategies intended to stimulate growth, and cultural initiatives reflecting South Africa's rich heritage. Domestic Policies Zuma's domestic policies were centered on improving living conditions and addressing inequality. He aimed to enhance education, health care, and housing through programs such as the National Development Plan. Despite the intentions, his administration faced criticism for corruption accusations and inefficiencies. Initiatives such as the infant health program and free education policies were introduced, but implementation often fell short. The focus on land reform also sparked debate over economic implications and property rights. Foreign Relations In the realm of foreign relations, Suma emphasized strengthening ties with other African nations and emerging economies. His administration aimed to foster African unity through regional organizations like the African Union. Zuma's approach included navigating complex relationships with Western countries, particularly balancing trade and diplomatic ties with nations like the United States and China. Notably, he supported the BRICS formation, promoting collaboration between Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. Economic Strategies Zuma's economic strategies were dual-faceted, focusing on growth while addressing socio-economic disparities. His administration introduced the new growth path aimed at creating jobs and stimulating economic activity. However, the economic landscape was marked by challenges such as rising unemployment and slow growth. The introduction of policies to boost infrastructure development and small business support faced scrutiny amid concerns about mismanagement and corruption. The Zondo Commission's probes into state capture brought significant attention to alleged malpractices during his tenure. Social and Cultural Initiatives Zuma's focus on social and cultural initiatives aimed to celebrate South Africa's diversity and heritage. He promoted initiatives that highlighted the significance of local languages, arts, and culture through various programs. Inclusion was a central theme, with efforts made to support marginalized communities. Initiatives like Youth Month aimed to empower young South Africans, though they often raised questions about effectiveness and accountability. Additionally, Zuma's administration faced challenges in handling gender-based violence, prompting calls for comprehensive reforms. Legal Challenges Jacob Zuma has faced significant legal challenges throughout and after his presidency. These challenges primarily focus on corruption charges, rulings from the Constitutional Court, and the public's response to his legal troubles. Corruption Charges Zuma's legal troubles are prominently marked by multiple corruption charges stemming from a controversial arms deal from the 1990s. He is accused of receiving bribes and engaging in corrupt practices that undermine South Africa's political integrity. Among the key allegations is his involvement in the notorious $5 billion arms deal that has plagued South African politics for years. In addition to the arms deal, Zuma faces accusations related to the state capture inquiry. This inquiry investigates the alleged corruption at the highest levels of government, further complicating his legal standing. He has pleaded not guilty and continuously claims that the charges are politically motivated. Constitutional Court Rulings The Constitutional Court has been pivotal in Zuma's legal battles. In a landmark ruling, the court found Zuma guilty of contempt for failing to appear before the state capture inquiry. As a result, he was sentenced to 15 months in prison marking a significant moment in South Africa's judicial history. This ruling underscores the court's commitment to upholding the rule of law, even against a former president. Furthermore, the court ordered Zuma to cover legal costs incurred during this proceedings, emphasizing accountability. The implications of this ruling extend beyond Zuma, it serves as a precedent for political leaders facing similar situations. 
Public reactions. Public reaction to Zuma's legal challenges has been varied, reflecting South Africa's divided political landscape. Supporters argue that his legal issues are part of a broader political vendetta against him, portraying him as a victim of targeted attacks. Conversely, critics demand accountability and transparency, viewing his allegations as emblematic of a larger crisis of corruption. Demonstrations have surfaced both in support of and against Zuma, illustrating the contentious nature of South African politics. The public response has influenced political discourse, with many citizens expressing a desire for systemic change to address corruption at all levels of government. The legal proceedings against Zuma remain a focal point for discussions around governance and accountability in the nation. Personal life Jacob Zuma's personal life reflects a blend of family ties and diverse interests that shape his identity. His relationships and hobbies provide insight into his character beyond the political sphere. Family Jacob Zuma comes from a large family background. He was born into a family of 10 children and experienced significant loss early in life with the death of his father when he was five years old. His mother, Gaina Mazwi, worked diligently as a domestic worker to support the family. Zuma has been married multiple times, with his most notable union being with Nkosazana Delamini Zuma, a prominent figure in the African National Congress. His family includes numerous children, estimated to be around 20, from various relationships. This large family reflects the cultural norms of polygamy in some South African communities, which Zuma has embraced throughout his life. Personal interests In addition to his political career, Jacob Zuma has varied personal interests. He is known for his passion for music, particularly traditional Zulu songs, and often participates in cultural performances. Zuma is also an avid sports enthusiast, with soccer being a prominent interest. He supports local teams and encourages youth participation in sports as a means of fostering community and personal growth. Further, he is involved in various philanthropic efforts, focusing on education and health initiatives in South Africa. Zuma's dedication to his community demonstrates his belief in giving back and making a positive impact on society. Public Perception and Legacy Jacob Zuma's presidency has been marked by considerable controversy, shaping his legacy in both domestic and international contexts. Public perception of him reflects a complex interplay of support and criticism, influenced by his actions while in office and subsequent legal battles. Within South Africa In South Africa, Jacob Zuma is a polarizing figure. While some view him as a champion of the poor, particularly for his emphasis on social programs, many others associate him with widespread corruption and mismanagement. The fallout from the Gupta scandal and various accusations of state capture have significantly tarnished his image. His supporters often argue that he revitalized the African National Congress, ANC and strengthened his base among rural voters. However, Criticism is fierce from both the media and opposition parties, labeling his tenure as a period of decline for the country. Public protests against him, alongside court rulings, reflect a widespread desire for accountability and reform. International Perspectives Internationally, Zuma's legacy is often viewed through the lens of his controversial policies and corruption allegations. His presidency raised concerns regarding governance in South Africa, with many foreign observers commenting on his administration's implications for democracy in Africa. While some leaders have engaged with him, acknowledging his role in promoting regional development, more critical voices highlight the erosion of South African institutions. Reports and analyzes frequently cite the impact of Zuma's administration on foreign investment, emphasizing how perceptions of instability may deter economic partnerships with South Africa. The combination of his populist rhetoric and the reality of his governance creates a complicated legacy that resonates differently across various global audiences. Civic Engagement and Advocacy Civic engagement plays a crucial role in shaping political landscapes, especially in South Africa, where Jacob Zuma's legacy continues to generate public discourse. Zuma's time in office witnessed a surge in civil society activism, focusing on transparency and accountability. Various organizations emerged to challenge corruption and advocate for democratic principles. Key areas of advocacy include Anti-corruption initiatives, groups focused on exposing graft and pushing for reform in governance structures. Voter education, 
campaigns aimed at informing citizens about their rights in the electoral process. Social justice movements, organizations working to address inequality and promote human rights. Public engagement is essential for a healthy democracy. The challenges posed by political figures like Zuma emphasize the need for active participation. This includes voting, advocacy, and community organizing. The influence of civic movements can lead to significant changes in policy and governance. Activists advocate for policies that reflect the public's needs and aspirations. Zuma's controversial presidency sparked debates on civic responsibility. Citizens mobilized through social media and protests, demanding accountability and greater transparency. These actions exemplify the potential of civic engagement to affect real change. Advocacy remains vital for protecting democratic values in South Africa's evolving political landscape.